Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at understanding light and dark sites with Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. Websites can generally be classified as light or dark. This typically relates to the background color of the containers, page background and columns, and the color of the typography. Dark text on a light background is a light site, while a dark background with light text is a dark site. But these are arbitrary classifications and often a site will have both light and dark sections. In this video we're going to look at color variables in Avada and how the global colors can help you create a light or dark site and how to change a light or dark site to its opposite. Let's start with the Avada setup wizard. If you import an existing pre-built with the wizard, the site will already have its style as far as dark and light goes. But when you create a new site with the setup wizard, you can choose yourself. At step 3, where you choose the colors of the site, there is a simple option here of light or dark. I'll choose dark to make this a dark site. What this does is to switch the color variables around to the opposite values. So in the global defaults in the content, color 8 becomes color 1, color 7 becomes color 2, and so on. And importantly, the color palette remains in a light to dark order. If I just complete the wizard here, we can now see we have a dark site. And if I go to the global options and the typography tab, we can see that body and title fonts are now color 1, whereas originally they would have been color 8. And the container backgrounds that were light are now dark. So with a new site using the setup wizard, it's very easy to get the basic components of a light or dark site set up. In the unlikely event that you want to change an existing site from dark to light or vice versa, if you have used global colors in both the global defaults and in your elements, there is a simple method. In this instance, the best approach is to swap the global palette colors around from darkest to lightest. This only takes a minute or so. Let me demonstrate. On the global color palette, I will swap out the values of color 8 and 1, 7 and 2, 6 and 3, and 4 and 5. So now if we look at our content, it has pretty much changed this back to a light site. Although in this case, I'd just rerun the setup wizard and choose a light site instead to keep the color palette in its intended order. Normally you would make the decision about light and dark at the start of a site. But the takeaway here is that to make your site most flexible to wholesale color changes, make sure to use the global colors, both in your defaults and your elements. Okay, this concludes our video on understanding light and dark sites with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.